Today we're going to take a look at some of the urban housing forms. Uh, this is a 1980 urban housing complex. Uh, right now we're starting here. We're going to go to and just look around. Um, there's different gardens in the space. This is actually a clubhouse for the residents. This is a primary school. Uh, looking at it, most of the buildings are going to be seven stories tall. Yeah. But then some of the buildings you'll see, they'll be two stories tall. And there is a hierarchy to the buildings, and there's also um, different layers of facades on the buildings, so that sort of designates what area an individual would live in. And we'll, as we go through, we'll try to explain to you some of the different um, designations so you'll have a better understanding. So we'll just take a little walk around. And as we look, this is the very beginning of the, <coughs> of the housing. And this is very typical uh, throughout Shanghai. You'll see these types of complexes. And when they were built, they were a complete community. Thank you, trying to fart. Yeah. Um, so you can look around. They were a complete community. They had uh, garden spaces. They had school spaces, or they had schools. Uh, they actually have a little grocery store. They have different food areas. There is a fruit stand. So it's basically everything that the community would need at, at their at their fingertips and. Um, that's something in, in North Carolina, you can see out in Huntersville, that that's what we're trying to do now as far as the housing. And in, in trying to think of the name of that area out in Huntersville, the big place where the food, the clothing, and everything is in one stop. Yeah. Um, these are, yeah, these are seven stories, and these are walk-ups. They don't have any kind of elevators or anything yeah, in them. That's the, they wanted, or that was the reason that they were walk-ups, is because they didn't want to put elevators in the, in the buildings. Um, 